is trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its works, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. You just said believers. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person should receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempted me, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. Instead, each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desires and enticed. Then, after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when in a school group, gives birth to death. Don't be deceived, my dear brothers and sisters. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who doesn't change like shifting shadows. that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent, and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word and does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in the mirror. Then after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But immediately forgets what he looks like. But Whoever. You need to speak louder. And to the perfect love that gives freedom, not forgetting. Uh, and? And continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. Those who consider themselves religious but do not keep a tight movement on their tongues, deceive themselves and their religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after widows and orphans in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. I brothers and sisters. Believers. special attention to the man wearing fine clothes and say, here's a good seat for you. But say to the poor man, you stand here, you sit on the floor, haven't you discriminated among yourselves and become judges with people? 
thoughts. Listen, my brothers and sisters, has it God chosen those who are born in the eyes of the world? who are blaspheming the noble name of him to whom you belong. But if you really keep the royal law found in scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing right. But if you show favoritism, you sin and are convicted by the law as lawbreakers. Or whoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking all of it. He who said you shall not commit adultery also said you shall not murder. If you don't commit adultery but you do commit murder, you have become a lawbreaker. Speak in that means those who are going to be judged by the law that gives freedom. Because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who is not been merciful. Mercy triumphs over judgment. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? Suppose. Suppose. Such faith save them, suppose. Suppose, uh. Abraham's later. In the same way, we were holding the signs. without deeds is useless? Wasn't our father Abraham considered righteous for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see that his faith and his actions were working together and his faith was made complete by what he did. And the scripture was fulfilled that said, Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness and he was called God's friend. You see that a person is considered righteous for what they do and not by faith alone. In the same way, it wasn't even Rahab the prostitute considered righteous for what she did when she gave lodging to the spies and sent them off in a different direction. As the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead. Okay. Teachers. You get one break. You want it now? No. Now? No. No? Okay. No. James 3. Not. Turn the whole animal. Although they are so large and 
are driven by strong winds, steered by a very small rudder, wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great posts. Consider a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body and sets the whole course of one's life on fire and is itself set on fire by hell. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind. Praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can fresh water and salt water flow from the same stream? Stream, my brothers and sisters. Can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not boast about it or deny the truth. The wisdom that does not come... Such wisdom. Such wisdom does not come down from heaven, is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. Here, then peace loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. Alright, that's three. Break. Okay.